world magnificent and the outstanding academic giant continues with its upward trend. Indeed, Mount Kenya University celebrates another milestone. The inauguration of the 12-storey Alumni Plaza, which now serves as the university's administration block. This is one of the best offices for Vice Chancellor anywhere in the world. This is a good university, a great one. Personally, I call it a small Harvard in Africa. You get the value of your money. The crown of this multi-billion piece of architecture being the Senate boardroom. An 80-seat capacity room in which the top leadership of the university now uses to make important decisions affecting the university. This being another first for this fast-growing private university. We are having more better synergies and teamwork. We also now have the best Senate. I want to say it's the best Senate uh, boardroom, I believe, in the country. I've never seen one in Kenya. This one is the best. I thought that I'm just entering a, a plane, because in a plane, those, those seats which I put there, they look like that. But even as this academic giant continues to look inwardly for improvement, it has been keen on extending its hands far and wide in order to learn the best practices from other leading universities around the world through signing of memorandums of understanding. This being incognizant of the role of partnerships in the implementation of the university's mission. The latest MOU was signed between Mount Kenya University and Makerere University in which the College of Health Sciences for both universities will work together as equal partners towards the improvement of higher education in the region. That partnership has provisions for student exchange, staff exchange, and sharing of information. The two universities have also launched a research grant worth $100,000. Projects that we are going to support are those that will have practical solutions to address health problems that are affecting uh, communities within the two regions. Dr. Jesse Kitaka is one of the researchers from the university who has backed several grants due to his exemplary research work. He recently got a 10 million shilling grant from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to carry out research and neonatal care in Bungoma County. You really have to be responsive to the needs in the community or rather in the target area. Uh, and for us, we've identified uh, the areas of infectious diseases and maternal and newborn health to be our priority areas in the university and also in the research center. So our main focus is on the, on, especially currently, on those three areas. Mount Kenya University students are also benefiting from MOUs signed with other universities. A case in point being an MOU between Mount Kenya University and Vincent Paul University in Lublin, Poland. <laughs> Collins Wekesa, a tours and travel studies student, was one of the beneficiaries of the program known as Erasmus Plus. He got an opportunity to travel to Poland and stay at Vincent Paul University for three months on an exchange program. I firmly believe the trip really added 
uh, some value to me, especially uh, when it comes to networking and communication skills. And also, uh, apart from it, made, it made it, you know, it like um, expounded my mind, my thinking, how my perspective on how I view things. Currently, I know uh, um, the way I view things is different from the way I used to view things before I went to Poland. The program is running straight for a period of five years. And within this period, our students, several of our students, will have gone there for attachment and our staff also to benchmark with the programs that are offered there. We have also opportunities where universities have sent their own staff to come and train our staff on particular areas of uh, interest. In line with continuous improvement in education, Mount Kenya University launched the Mount Kenya University Law Journal, which is spearheaded by the Mount Kenya University School of Law. And it is a journal that gives our, le uh, our lecturers and even our students who are willing to contribute. It is giving them a platform for publication. It is a, a platform that will assist in the advancement and enhancement of legal knowledge. The institution which also has an ultra-modern moot court also unveiled the Center for International and Development Law. Over time the school has reoriented itself towards matters of uh, law and development. And so it was felt within the academic circles in the university that there is need to advance research in this area that um, had be, has been left behind both nationally and internationally in terms of legal research. So even if you are to look at this, the, the, the universities around that offer law and even those that are, are both within and outside Kenya, you'll come to realize that um, the area of law and development has largely been ignored. We've been able to uh, enhance students also networking skills through the moot court. We've uh, participated in international moot court competitions. Also at the regional level, we participated in the Nelson Mandela Human Rights uh, Competition. And of course, at the Kenyan level, we also participate and engage other universities in our own internal uh, moot court competition. Mount Kenya University continues to churn graduates who inspire leadership in Kenya. I, Charles Njagwakanyi, a.k.a. Jagwa, a.k.a. Muze Mudiambu, having <laughs> having been elected member of the national assembly the university prides in producing a deputy governor 16 members of parliament and over 20 members of the county assembly in the just concluded general elections martin mushisho the deputy governor of kajado county is a former president of the mount kenya university student body After completion of his studies, Mushisho was employed by the university as the coordinator for international students before resigning from the job to join politics. I'm indebted to the students and the community of Mount Kenya University because um, I got experience that um, Mount Kenya University is a place that um, uh, gives equal opportunity for all the students to pursue their dreams and aspirations. Regardless of where you come from, regardless of faith affiliation and um, uh, color or gender. He had all the attributes of a very good leader. Um, and, and we saw a future in him. And apparently, when you have very good attributes of leadership, even outside I see it. And so happened that outside the university, people in his own community also saw that uh, uh, strength in him. And I'm happy that uh, he's now a deputy governor. I, John Paul Muirigi, having been elected a member of National Assembly. John Paul Muirigi, the youngest member of parliament, is also a student at Mount Kenya University. The 23-year-old Igembe South member of parliament ran on an independent ticket and won the parliamentary race, thrusting the university in the limelight once more. Mm -hmm. 
Mount Kenya University is compassionate in caring for bright and needy students. Mount Kenya University is currently providing scholarships to 50 bright and needy students. Among them being Sifa Wanji, a student from Kilifi County who scored a B plus in his KCSE examination. The university, however, came to his aid and assisted him, and he is now undertaking a bachelor's degree in clinical medicine and surgery under the Mount Kenya University Foundation. As uh, Mount Kenya University is a private university, but we feel that we have a responsibility of giving support where possible to new students who are capable, because this way we'll be able to uplift uh, lives of even the communities or students who are not able to pay for their education. The university continues to attract students from different parts of the continent and the world. This semester, a group of 70 students from Chigali, Rwanda, joined Mount Kenya University Thika in a bid to gain knowledge in the field of pharmacy. It was a warm welcome. Everyone was like, hey, people from Rwanda, hey, people from Kigali. Even the school management was really welcoming. Like, we find things so easily. They love, they show love to us. They, they care to us. They give, they give us everything. We feel welcome, we feel at home. We were not like, we are in the new country, we are in a strange country. Sometimes when we, we, we are born from a country, we stay there and uh, we work from there. Sometimes we think we are the best, but when we at least get going to another place, we find that there are so many things that are challenging us and giving us another opportunity to learn and to get uh, more knowledge and more wisdom. In terms of our pharmaceutical industry, Kenya is advanced, developed compared to our country. It has the industries, uh, has, you know, high qualified professionals. So we're happy we make use of that and we, we, we are really seeking for that knowledge, skills, so that we can go back home and, you know, change our country too. Mount Kenya University basks in the glory of producing world beaters in extracurricular activities. We all believe in dreams and goals and we must achieve them. Success does not come for you, you go for your success. This year, Maglin Geruto, who was Kenya's representative to the 2017 Miss World pageant, became the nation's pride after she finished at an impressive fifth place during the 2017 coronation which took place in Sanya, China. My land, Kenya. So warm, wild and free. From the oceans to the islands, you will always stay right here in my heart. She is an alumnus of Mount Kenya University, Nairobi campus. One university making strides towards empowering thousands of students with knowledge and expertise to face the future with confidence. Mount Kenya University, my university, my pride, my future, my affordable education.